Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 29th. For lunch today, we have crispy chicken tenders with golden french fries, or chef salad with a whole grain dinner roll, or crispy chicken sandwich, or mac sticks. And with the new week, we're rotating gym and outdoor recess locations. Take a quick look to make sure you know where you'll be. And happy birthday to Braden Stevens in the seventh grade. Have a great day. Hey everybody. So we're about a month into school at this point and everyone's starting to get a bit used to our new normal. So over this last month, I've heard a lot of questions that are a variation on this theme. If I don't social distance with my friends outside of school, why should I bother social distancing with my friends inside of school? So if I'm gonna catch it, I'm gonna catch it either way. So what's the big deal? Just leave us alone, Let's let us hang out. Well, in order to talk about that, I'd like to talk to you today about sunscreen and seatbelts. So think back for a minute to a day at the beach or the water park. What's it feel like? Can you feel the hot concrete underneath your toes? Can you feel the water splash over your head? Can you remember what it feels like to have the cold wind in your face as you head down a water slide and then achieve splashdown at the bottom? Now, before you felt any of that, you probably felt this first. When you're at a water park, you're at extra risk of sunburn, not just because you're wearing a bathing suit, but the water all around you amplifies the sun's rays and it's a lot easier to get a sunburn than when you're just normally outside. Now, what would happen if you were in such a rush to get out on the slides at the water park that you forgot to put on your sunscreen for the first hour? Would you say, ah, never mind, I've already been exposed to the sun anyways, let's go ahead and leave it off? Well, you could do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Otherwise, you're walking around with a back like this the day after you go to the water park, and most of you can probably remember what that feels like too. So even though it's a pain to put on, taking the time to make sure you wear sunscreen makes a huge difference in having a good day at the water park. So now let's talk about another safety measure that we regularly take by putting on our seat belts when we get in the car. Now let's say that you and your family take a trip from Nakusa down to Madison to catch a Badger football game. The total trip takes just under two hours, so you settle in and get comfortable. But after the first half hour, which is that first bit marked in red when you're getting on the freeway at Plainfield, you realize that you forgot to put on your safety belt. At that point, you've got two choices. You could put on your safety belt, or you could say, well, Nothing's happened to me this far in the trip, so I might as well leave it off and I'll probably be okay. And chances are, you will be okay. But the thing is, car accidents happen. And people who get in car accidents are usually okay most of the time they're driving. Putting on that safety belt can make a huge difference. So in both of these situations, with both sunscreen and seat belts, we regularly do something that's uncomfortable and not fun to do in order to avoid bigger problems later. In a similar way, we do three inconvenient things to avoid the coronavirus. We wear a mask, we keep our physical distance, and we wash our hands regularly. So saying that you don't need to social distance at school if you didn't do it at home is just like saying that you don't need to wear sunscreen at a water park or a seatbelt in a car if you didn't do it the whole time. The rays of sun at a water park or the laws of physics in a car or the coronavirus at any time are all forces of nature that we need to protect ourselves against. So while it's important to social distance, wear masks and wash your hands in order to keep yourself safe, the second big reason why this is so important is because what you do affects others. The thing is, we're not talking a question of if, but when. Right now, this week, we have another homeroom who has to stay home in quarantine because somebody got sick. It's happened in two grade levels so far, and we're only four weeks in. I expect this will happen somewhere else. That's just the way it is. Now, I don't say that to raise any worries or alarm. School is a very safe place to be, and learning together certainly makes a big difference for all of us. So let's do the work to help us stay together. Let's do the work to help keep us in school. By doing your part, even when it's inconvenient, makes a big difference for all of us. So today's challenge is to talk in your homeroom and advisory about how well do you think we're doing right now? How well are we keeping to the rules? How well are we keeping each other safe? And are there things we can do as a school that will help make those things easier? Let's stay together, let's stay safe, and let's do it together. All right, you take care.